Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with CostelloWellness.com, and today we're going to talk about gout. Gout is a usually a painful, swollen, red, big toe, but it is a recurrent, chronic inflammation of any joint in the body, but toes and ankles are most common. It's very, very painful, and a typical gout attack is a 40 or 50 year old man or an older woman who develops a painful, red, warm, swollen toe that is very, very uncomfortable compared to how it looks, and there's no history of trauma. Gout is caused by a chemical in the bloodstream called uric acid that crystallizes in the joint and under the microscope it looks like bits of broken glass and it's very painful and very inflammatory to the joint. Gout was described at least 2,000 years ago as a condition in which the toe could not bear the weight of the sheet upon it as a description as to how painful it was. And if you talk to anybody with gout, they will agree that you can't even put a sheet on top of your foot because it hurts. What we think happens, and the reason why we think it happens in the toe, is that the uric acid, which is normally dissolved in your bloodstream, crystallizes into a sharp bit of glass in the joint. Think about as a child, you did that uh, thing in school where you took a glass of hot water and you put a bunch of teaspoons of sugar in it and you mixed it up until you could not dissolve any more sugar. You add a piece of string into the sugar water and let the water cool. And as it cools, even less sugar can be dissolved in the cold water and the extra sugar actually crystallizes and becomes these sugar crystals on the string. We think that with your feet and your toes, they're colder than the rest of your body. So this uric acid that is normally dissolved in the bloodstream turns into these little crystals in the joint and causes inflammation. When you have an acute gout attack, there's several medications that we use. Uh, we use ibuprofen type of medicines uh, like Indocin. Uh, we can use a medication called Colchicine. Uh, we can use a steroid shot or pills. We can even give you a steroid shot directly into the joint if it's a very bad attack. After you get attacked, you go see your doctor and they should do a blood test and check your uric acid level. I don't do blood levels during an acute attack because the pain actually has a uricose uric effect. It makes you excrete uric acid in your urine, so your blood level is oftentimes lower during an acute attack than it is normally. So when you're all done, you wanna to go to your doctor, get a blood test to see if your uric acid level is elevated. If it is and they are considering putting you on medications, they should do a 24-hour urine uric acid as well. There's two types of people. About 80% of people are under excretors, meaning they make a normal amount of uric acid, but they don't excrete it appropriately in the kidneys. So their blood uric acid is high, but their urine uric acid is low. The majority, minority, 10 to 20% of people are overproducers, so they make too much uric acid. So their blood level is high and their urine is high because they're trying to get rid of it and they just can't keep up. The difference is in choice of medications. If I put you on a daily preventative medicine and you are an under excreter, I'll pick a drug like probenicid, which also is a less toxic, has less side effects. Um, if you are a overproducer, then we'll use a medication like allopurinol, uh, which decreases the production. So it's important for two reasons to get your uric acid checked. Uh, one, because of the gout attacks, and this can cause destruction of the joints and cause kidney stones, even if you're not having acute attacks. The other interesting thing is, is that elevated uric acid levels may co correspond with increased risk of heart disease and stroke. We're not sure if it's because of similar risk factors. So obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure are all risk factors for both heart disease and gout. So it makes sense that the people who have elevated uric acid have more heart attacks. It may be that there's some other inflammatory process and uric acid is a marker. We don't know just yet whether lowering uric acid levels with medications is gonna be beneficial or decrease risk of heart disease, but that's something that we're watching for the future. So if you get your first gout attack, your doctor will usually treat you clinically, meaning they look at you and say, that looks like gout and here's medication and you're better. If you have a second or recurrent attacks, then you wanna talk about blood tests, urine tests, uh, changing your diet. So people who eat red meat and drink red wine have more gout attacks.